Welcome to Inside the Church again. Uh, we're in the sacristy with Father Prisabella, the pastor here. And uh, we just thought it'd be a great opportunity to go through the different vestments and vesting prayers that Father goes through at every Mass. So, Father, I know that there's a few prayers and different things that you wear um, and say, but we don't get to see them necessarily because we see your chasuble. So, what do you do? Sure. Um, yeah, there's uh, particular vestments that the priests wear, and, um, and each has a certain meaning that goes along with it. And so all this, since you can't come into the sacristy, usually, um, you know, can't fit the whole parish, we brought you here with us today. So the first uh, vestment that I put on is called the um, amice. And the amice is a particular kind of vestment that, that goes on and you put it on your, you supposedly, you're supposed to touch your head, and you say this prayer, Place, O Lord, on my head the helmet of salvation, so that I may resist the assaults of the devil. And so what this particular vestment is meant to do, uh, while you touch your head, is uh, the monks of old, they would have their hoods. And so in order to cover that, they would put this amice over that. They put their hood up, and then put the amice over it, and then they would lay it down, so it would cover the hood. And in our case, I don't have a, a hood, um, but I do have a collar, and so it's meant to cover the collar. So I tuck it in, and so it hides that, you know, that kind of the secular part of my clothes, so it, it hides that. The second vestment that I wear is the L, and the L is, is this white vestment. And it's meant to symbolize your baptism, you know, that the white garment that we wear at our baptism. And so there's all different types and styles of elves. Um, people, you know, they come in all different shapes and sizes, but it's just a vestment that covers our outer clothes. And the prayer that I pray is, Purify me, O Lord, and cleanse my heart, that purified in the blood of the Lamb I may deserve everlasting joys. Those words speak of the blood of the Lamb being purified, that the people who were in the book of Revelation, that they had been washed in the blood of the Lamb, and they were wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. And so this white robe um, symbolizes the robe of our baptism, and so I place that on. The next uh, part of the vestment is called the cincture. And so this um, is a cord that goes around our waist, and the prayer that I pray is, Gird me, O Lord, with the cincture of purity, and suppress in my members every inordinate desire that the virtues of continence and chastity may ever abide with me. So it's a prayer uh, for purity. Uh, we place upon, uh, we ask God to, to protect us. And so this goes around the waist. And then... Uh, the next vestment is the stole, and so this uh, part of the garment goes over our shoulders, and priests will usually kiss that, there is usually a cross on here, and we place it on our shoulders, and it's the prayer that I pray is, Restore to me, O Lord, the stole of immortality, which I lost through the sin of my first parents, and although I am unworthy to approach your sacred mysteries, may I be found deserving of everlasting joy. And then the final vestment that we place on is called the chasuble. And so in this prayer we pray, O Lord who said, My yoke is sweet and my burden is light, grant that I may so carry it as to win your favor and grace. And so here are the vestments. And as we put these on, sometimes, you know, we think about in the book of, um, I don't know which book it is, but St. Paul says that put on the Lord Jesus Christ. And, and so investing um, and, and doing this, um, pr these prayers is helping us to, to put on the Lord Jesus Christ. And so that when I act as a priest, it is, um, it's Christ, Jesus, who is acting through me. I'm, in a sense, kind of covering myself. As St. Paul says, it is no longer I who act, but it is Christ who lives in me. And so, um, as being ordained a priest, I am in persona Christi, in the person of Christ, and um, he is acting through me in the sacraments. 
at Mass so that those words, this is my body, this is my blood, it is Christ speaking those words um, through the priest. Yeah, and one, one of the things that I've um, learned over my time working in the church too is some of the differences and vestments between the priest and the deacon. Um, one in particular is the chasuble, there's no sleeves on it. Mm -hmm. um, whereas the deacon's dalmatic has sleeves, and correct me if I'm wrong, Father, but part of that is the sleeves show the servitude of the deacon, and the no sleeves and the um, fully woven garment, like what Christ had on Calvary, um, kind of hides your humanity to show forth Christ's divinity. Mm -hmm. Is that Yes, right? yeah, it's that, and you know, it also has the practical aspect too, is um, you know, now they've made a cut that you can kind of get your arms out of here, but um, earlier cuts of these were, it would just be all the way down to the floor. So the priest, it was really hard to yeah. get your hands out of there. Um, and the deacon would do a lot of, he would set the altar as he does now. He would receive the gifts. And, um, and so the sleeves, yes, that servitude that um, he is ordained to serve. Um, but literally, he's um, doing a lot of the work, you know, at mass. You know, and so the sleeves make it more practically um, him able to do yeah. that. And I love what you said about um, just putting on the Lord Jesus and you being in persona Christi in the person of Christ. And uh, one of the things that I talk about a lot with RCIA uh, candidates, why the priest? What's different about a priest versus a minister? And some of these questions. And uh, we know from the book of Hebrews that Christ is the one high priest and you gain your priesthood by participation in him. Mm -hmm. And putting that on for us as lay people helps really signify that reality that you do, in fact, um, show us Christ in the sacraments. So even in confession, it's, you know, bless me, Father, forgive me, Father, but we're really talking to Christ the Lord. Yeah. So your vestments help with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it is, it's a, a great privilege. And it's a reminder to me, you know, even those prayers, you know, praying those um, before Mass, praying, um, and, and there's other prayers, you know, to prepare me um, to celebrate Mass um, as well as just kind of helping me to recall what it is that I am doing. And, um, and so that, it's a really important thing not only for the priest to do, but um, for the laity as well. You know, there are prayers in the few missiles that um, there's a section where to help prepare people to, to um, prepare people for Mass. There's prayers for Thanksgiving after Mass. So it's not just rushing in last minute and, and leaving early. Um, that, that's, um, we want to take time to prepare um, to enter in because in a sense we are all priests. We are all um, ordained, we are all um, baptized priests, prophets, and kings. And, and so for us to, to take time to prepare for Mass is in a sense, what am I coming here to sacrifice? You know, we are all acting um, in, in a way in, in the person of Christ to make, to unite our sacrifices with his on the altar. And the ordained priest um, takes all of those common sacrifices, the sacrifices of the people, and offers them um, to the Father. And so I think it's um, not only, you know, this little video of, of helping us to know what the priest does, it should be an encouragement for all of us to, to prepare um, for Mass. You even dress, you know, yeah. um, how do you dress for Mass? Um, do you come in with flip-flops and shorts, or do you, do you actually have your Sunday best that you come to Mass? Are you with? asking me, Father? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think it is, it's important for all of us to, mm -hmm. to reflect, and so that what we, how we dress, you know, signifies, you know, what we, you know, uh, what we, it kind of tells us something about what we think about what we're going to do. No different than if we're going out to the garden, the beach, or the office, we dress for the occasion, and meeting the risen Lord in the Eucharist, Kind of a big deal. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, thank you, Father, for this. We're going to look at a few other things in the sacristy and some other videos, but I want to thank you all for tuning in. Uh, feel free to comment or uh, write in questions or other things that you want us to talk about, um, either on the YouTube channel or on my email, jnelson at stchb.org. Thank you. God bless. God bless.